following the world of automotive innovation and design excellence as well as consumer satisfaction, well, those people know that Hyundai is revolutionizing the industry and has transformed itself into a global automotive powerhouse. How did they do it in such a short time? What's the secret sauce and what's in store for the future? Stay tuned for a lesson in automotive evolution and transformation and what we can learn from Hyundai's EV and hybrid journey in an exclusive presentation with Ola B.C. Boyle, Vice President, Product Planning and Mobility Strategy, Hyundai Motors North America. Hyundai continues to be aggressive, making moves and innovating from achieving championships on the track to achieving spectacular innovative mobility solutions with hybrids and EVs that are setting the pace. That takes us to beautiful Los Angeles for the LA Auto Show where Hyundai is breaking new ground once again. We'll get an exclusive look and insight from the dynamic Ola BC Boyle into how Hyundai has grown, evolved, and learned the art of electrification as it continues to build a framework for the future. And we're in front of this magnificent Ionic 6, different from anything we've seen before. How have we learned from the past with regard to both hybrids and EVs? When we started, we had the Ionic and the Kona EV. But those were reconstituted um, internal combustion engine uh, type vehicles for electric vehicles. And then we came up with our Ionic sub-brand, which is Ion and Unique. And what that did for us when we came out with Ionic 5 and now Ionic 6 and 7. She explained how Hyundai launched an EGMP platform. It's an 800 volt architecture allowing several innovations, such as charging from 10% to 80% in 18 minutes. That's faster than your cell phone. Secondly, there's a dedicated electrified platform that's powerful but not a constituted ICE platform. So there's more room for space design and interior living space. And you don't have the tunnel down the center of the vehicle to do so much creative interior space and make it a living space inside the vehicle. On this same platform, we could have a crossover SUV, we could have a new typology of vehicle because the segments are going to change when we move from ICE to EV. And then eventually a large three row SUV that accommodates families. And you wanted to be able to do that all on one platform, which we can with the EGMP. The Hyundai Electric Global Modular Platform is the first electric only dedicated platform. It's been used for Hyundai, Kia and Genesis since 2021. With Ionic 5, not only do we have the interior space for tall people like you and I, it let us have the movable console and enough space where you can go from the passenger door across the middle to the driver's door and still have enough space. And it allowed us, with the 800 volt architecture, to have this fast, ultra fast DC charging. But then it gave us an AER, an all electric range, of above 300 AER, so 303 per, per the EPA. Take a look at the Ionic 6. Streamlined and beautiful from a shape standpoint, but its form and function combined. Down low there, active air flaps allow battery cooling, but also allows better for dynamics. You see, it channels the air, so it goes around the vehicle, and that helps aerodynamics and performance. In the rear, you have two spoilers. That's really cool. Maximizing the airflow and the control that you can get around the car and the aerodynamics there. With the wingtip, that also help aero. Underneath, everything is covered so that the aero is also helped with there. And what that gives us when they measure aero, they measure it in coefficient of drag. And the best production vehicle coefficient of drag is 0 0.20. This vehicle, 0 0.22. With the streamlined function and the aerodynamics of this vehicle, we're gonna be at 350 plus AER off the same platform. And then in a couple of years, we're gonna have a vehicle that's a three row SUV for families off this platform as well. The reason why we're even in this position to talk about Ionic 5 and Ionic 6 to you is because of the North Star vision provided by our executive chair. Three aspirational words is called progress for humanity. But they're not just words, right? They are a commitment that we've made to an electrified platform with three vehicles in key segments. 
It's a commitment not only on battery EV, it's a commitment on fuel cell EV, and the beautiful test vehicle you saw over there, our um, Envision 74. Whoa, the Envision 74. It's the first high-performance rolling lab built on the most advanced hydrogen fuel cell. The vehicle is designed to balance aerodynamics and cooling. Look at that. Fierce. It's yet another example of what she's talking about. We are committed to autonomous. I mean, this is smart mobility. And it's a commitment as we understand that we want to reach the climate goals for society where we're all in. It's not something you can jump in. It's something we've been doing for a while. As people move from early adopter to mass adoption, there's going to be different needs. Now, not everyone is an early adapter, bold enough to try innovative things. They have concerns and we'll address them to attract them to the EV world. Ola Bisi explained that familiarity and the touchy-feely experience can definitely help. So, Hyundai allows consumers to get familiar by trying it before they buy it. Put a credit card down for a month as an extended drive to get the hang of it. Well, how does that work? Driving an EV might be a change in behavior, right? You need to find where your charging stations are. You might have one at home or you might not have one at home. On my way dropping off my kid to school, I know there's a charging station here, that's where I usually go. I do this for a month and I go, okay. And then they're like, oh, this EV thing is for me. And we're gonna need that consumer awareness, training, try before you buy, as we move from early adopter to mass adoption. Because not only are we concerned about bringing the right technology, we want to make sure we have the right experience for our consumers. So we, we've really tried to think this through. As the growing EV revolution takes shape and gains momentum, Hyundai continues to elevate, innovate, and push the boundaries while following the bold vision. Stay tuned for more as we continue to follow the brand and its breakout innovations in electrification, EVs, and beyond. In won the 2019 Band Favorite Award at our annual Auto Focus Awards, we got the memo that Hyundai was focused on becoming a world leader in automotive transformation. With our Nexo, our Exient. Now this Exient truck is totally revolutionary. A fuel-celled, hydrogen-powered beast. 